Hey there, so today we have another review from the Portland area. This is Ex Novo. Uh, Ex Novo Portland area. This is in collaboration with Yakima, well, Old, old Standby Brewing in, out of Salem. Uh, this is Understudy uh, Extra Special Bitter Ale, so ESB. Um, collaboration with Yakima, Imperial East, and Link Malt. Donation towards Air, uh, Oregon Children's Theater on behalf of this collaboration. 5-2. Yes, B. The drinking bitters up in the Pacific Northwest, right? Actually, um, listen to Beer Vine podcast. I think there was like a couple of breweries doing that kind of stuff. So, shout out to Cask Ale. I'm really excited for Denver. And um, should I do a video about that soon? Yeah, let's do a video about that. I'll probably do it soon. Yeah, actually, I'll do a video soon. <laughs> Sorry, just thinking to myself. Um, extra special bitter. So, beer comes in a wonderful kind of. Light to medium amber color. Yeah, light to medium amber color. Uh, pretty nice, somewhat clarity to it. Uh, I see good clarity. Slightly off white head, wonderful large head. Good amount of head created for, you know, a British style ale that generally has very low carb. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So there's diacetyl on this guy, right? <laughs> I just did sensory today. Ideally, I should know. So, yeah, there's diacetyl on this guy. So that's slightly appropriate. As, uh, or, Appropriate to the style at low amounts. So definitely some diacetyl. Um, it's got a light kind of like crackery, uh, uh, like biscuity uh, malt character. Um, somewhat sweet. Well, obviously like sweet as in sweet biscuits, caramelized sugars. Um, kind of like a whole grain kind of thing going on. Toasted whole grain. Nice breadiness. Not really noticeable, like, hop characteristics. Pretty dominated by the diacetyl, but I'm generally pretty sensitive, so. See, now you get USB on the palate. Um, or would you get California Common? It tastes very much like California Common. <laughs> if you saw my video, um, I had Anchor Steam against a um, strong bitter. And it was just like nonsense to me. Like the, these two styles were just like literally identical. Going forward, obviously this has diacetyl on it. You sort of taste it. This is like, for me, some people describe it as slickness. I sort of get that, but that's in, uh, that's around malts. Like if you spike a American lager with, with diacetyl, like I just don't get that slickness. Like I just don't taste any kind of like extra thing like it's just it's 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 aromatic you maybe get a little bit on the palate but like outside of that you really get it but here and especially with beers like Ch uh, uh pilsner quail like when you have malt behind it it's sort of like the the combination of like sour rancid butter and buttery character with malt sort of like like amplifies into something where yeah i sort of get a, a, a an amplifying note where it lingers and lasts and slicks on the palate I don't really know what slicks mean, but slicks, slicks on the palate means because like literally like there's no actual well beer has some amount of fatty acids blah blah but like when I think slick I, I literally think like you put a piece of like a drop of like actual oil on my palate where like there's unctuousness there's fattiness there's actual fat like you, there's a sensation of fat that you can't replicate with all flavors right I mean, that's, maybe you can maybe I'm just talking about it on my ass and I really don't know what these all flavors taste like right or don't really know how to Evaluate them well. So, um, yeah, this tastes pretty spot on. Um, this is that just solid amount of diacetyl that sort of like does the thing that it does for um, Pilsner Quell, where it like beefs up the beer a little bit, right? Sort of how like like struck beer in mixed fermentation sort of like beefs up the complexity. Here you get a beefed up kind of like complexity because like now you're getting like a little bit like buttery and maybe sour rancid, but whatever. But like the butter works well because it had this kind of nice, really toasted, biscuity malt character. And then it's matched on and contrasted by this like British hop character that is not dominating like American IPA, but definitely like a medium to medium plus bitterness where it's like herbal tea, black tea, um, roots, and um, yeah, like earthy, earthy. So it's a nice like contrast, like you get uh, what works in this is like some amount of balance, right? 
it's a combination of malts and the acetyl and the um, hops, yeah. I will say though, I feel like the beer is just slightly <laughs> dominating my diacetyl. Um, I don't think I ever tasted a commercial example that is so dominated by diacetyl. Like, yeah, like Pilsner Cold isn't dominated by the by it as, as intensely, nor have I had a British example that has so much diacetyl. So it's maybe a little hair, like hair too much, but eh. But again, the beer tastes great. Like the beer tastes fine. Like it, it is actually tasty with the all flavor, despite it being slightly dominate, dominant on the nose. Um, I do not like butter, right? But the problem with like, the butter, it's like, it's not like a pretty butter. Like sometimes you get butter where it's like, or ideally diacetyl is like movie theater, but like sometimes like it comes off like in beer at least, it smells like, like sour. Like I guess it's acidity the beer and I don't know why, but like it, it sometimes like, like ideally diacetyl just smells like a movie theater. It's like great. Like how can you say bad things about that? Like, you know, when you pop popcorn in your house, like, oh, it's a great smell. And like, I smell in my beer, it's all right? Like that doesn't really make sense. But um, sometimes diacetyl, for me at least in beer, comes off like not like that. And it comes off like a little stinky. So in a bad way. But the beer is very tasty. And it's like tea. Yeah, it's like the black tea kind of thing. It just lingers on the back end. Not the diacetyl, but the hops in the beer. Um, that's a tasty beer. There's so much character in this beer for, oh geez, uh, for 5.2%, um, just a tasty, tasty beer. Spot on. Um, honestly, like the British examples that come to the States don't taste this, taste this good because it's obviously not as fresh. And this it just tastes spot on. So um, again, not my style. Like I generally would like reach towards like strong bitter like this, but definitely a food beer, right? Definitely a food beer. Um, 90, I mean, I, I, I enjoy this and like, it's fun to see like an American example because like we don't get enough of this, these styles. So solid 93, that's really good. Honestly, it's really tasty. Um, that is understudy, uh, extra, extra special bitter until next time. Guys, cheers later.